Do vitamin B12 patches actually work? Hi, I'm Danielle and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. I'm seeing a lot of supplement companies advertising on social media with testimonials from customers saying that the patches have cured their B12 deficiencies. But many of these health-related claims are unsubstantiated and these products are not approved by the FDA or US Food and Drug Administration. From what I've seen in the peer-reviewed literature, the evidence for vitamin absorption through the skin is very limited. So if you're thinking about buying one of these patches, please feel free to email me the name of the company and I can ask them to show me their data on how effective or how much these patches will actually raise B12 levels. This data is not available to the public, but if there's no research showing it's effective, then why would I waste my money on this product? If you're deficient in vitamin B12, here are the options that your healthcare team will tell you about, usually based on the root cause of why you're having the deficiency. So one, if you're just not able to eat enough vitamin B12 rich foods, for example, if you're following a vegan or vegetarian diet, or you're just not able to tolerate foods naturally rich in vitamin B12, your healthcare provider may recommend a standard oral vitamin B12 supplement. Pro tip for any oral supplement you're taking if you have inflammatory bowel disease, check the labels for added lactose, artificial colors, sugar alcohols, or preservatives, all of which can aggravate your IBD, especially when you're in a flare. The ileum is the last portion of the small intestine where most of your body's vitamin B12 is absorbed. And I bring this up because if you have Crohn's disease and there's severe inflammation in your ileum, or you had an intestinal resection and no longer have an ileum, then you're not going to be able to absorb the vitamin B12 from a standard oral supplement. So if this is the case, here are your options. One, very large doses of sublingual supplements, which are meant to be taken by dissolving the tab under your tongue, because 1% of that very large dose is actually absorbed through diffusion. My husband has Crohn's disease, and at one point in his life when he was deficient in vitamin B12, his doctor recommended that option. Alternatively, Vitamin B12 shots can be injected into a person's muscles regularly. For example, monthly for maintenance, but usually more frequently until the deficiency is treated. If you're vitamin B12 deficient, make sure to talk to your doctor about your options, as your doctor can do a simple blood test to see where your current B12 levels are at and what the appropriate treatment should be for you. Did you find this video helpful? If so, please let me know by liking it and subscribing to this channel. Thanks!